Now, regular readers of Go RV might remember the beginnings of the restoration of a 1965 Coronet Princess that we showed you some months ago. Now, I'm out at the RV Repair Centre once again, and Andrew Phillips, the man behind this restoration, has since done a heck of a lot of work, and it is very impressive. You have to check it out. Andrew has spent countless upon countless hours researching the original Coronet Princess so that he could recreate it as faithfully as possible. Now, take the cladding for example. This cladding here is a very, very close match to the original cladding. Now, even the screws used to retain the cladding are an exact match. They are the same screw, but they're actually not available in Australia anymore. Andrew actually had to source them from England, and he's put those screws in exactly the same position as they were on the original caravan. So here we've got the tail lights. Now, Andrew was able to source the exact same tail lights that were used on the Princess back in 1965. Now, the original manufacturer of the tail lights was Heller. Now, Heller doesn't make them anymore, but Andrew was able to find those exact same tail lights, which are now made by Narva. Now, the original Coronet Princess didn't have brake lights or tail lights on either side. It was just in the middle, and that's what Andrew has created. But for safety's sake, Andrew is gonna fit some rear side LED tail lamps. And one other thing, they were able to salvage the original porch light from that original 1965 Princess. They've been able to clean it up. It looks great. The interior of this caravan is shaping up to be as well original as it was back in 1965. No detail has been overlooked. Andrew has built new MDF locker doors and covered them with a laminate that is as pretty close to the original as you would ever get. This is the original laminate and here you can see what he's replaced it with and it is a very close match. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, the dinette's not as comfortable as a dinette you would find in a modern day caravan, but there's no arguing with the workmanship. Andrew wasn't able to find the original limey green vinyl that Coronet used back in 1965, so instead he's opted for this nice blue color. The gold highlights though, they are a faithful match. Andrew even tells me that he's recreated the way the upholstery has been stitched together. The beauty of this restoration, as I've mentioned, really does come down to the details. Andrew sourced the original power inlet. They've handmade matching locker doors. When he's finished, the tiling is going to be an extremely close match to the original. They've cleaned up the clock that he found in the original van, and that looks almost good as new. After hours spent looking at pictures from old magazines and ads, Andrew's managed to recreate the original single bed layout, and it looks brilliant. Now, the original Perspex front wraparound windows on this Princess had become all sort of crazed and milky, so Andrew's replaced them with these new acrylic windows, which he reckons aren't gonna craze as easily, and he's also obviously replaced all the window rubbers too. Wow, what a restoration job so far, and I'm sure I could talk for hours about all the little details that have been recreated. And look, Andrew's even sourced original tow mirrors from that era. Stay tuned because Andrew is continuing to work on this van and we hope to be able to show you the completed product very soon.